Kent try to make the most of the abandonment of the Derbyshire versus Yorkshire game by getting well ahead of Glamorgan on the penultimate day of their LV County Championship match in Canterbury, only for Jim Allenby and Stuart Walters to get in their way. Wet conditions meant a delayed start of an hour, after which Kent declared their first innings close on their overnight 456 for nine. They would have been hoping that that would have been enough for them not to have to bat again, and earlier in the season it may well have been. But boosted by their side's excellent win earlier in the week in Northampton, Gareth Rees and Will Bragg made a confident enough start. Their opening stand was ended on 37 when Bragg missed his drive off Matt Coles' seventh ball and was bowled for 22. Six balls later and Rees was also back in the pavilion with him having sliced Charlie Shrek to Darren Stevens in the gully. Coles then had Marcus North held by James Treadwell as the Aussie had a rare failure falling for eight at 56 for three. Needing 307 to avoid the follow-on and send this game heading towards a draw, Glamorgan were now in a spot of bother. Ben Wright tried to stop the rot and he added a patient 27 with Walters. Wright was then out for 14, trapped in the crease by Stevens and bang in front at 83 for four. Had Kent now been able to grab another couple of quick wickets, they would have really fancied their chances in this game but as it was, Walters and Allenby proved to be a tough nut to crack. Allenby played a crucial role in his side's victory in Northampton when they chased down 350 to win for the first time this season, and the Australian-born player was again in good touch. He was having to play a completely different type of innings to his last one. He was backed up well by Walters, who recorded his third half century of the season, this one coming off 98 deliveries with this being one of his four fours. Alas for him, the former Surrey man then edged a cut off Stevens behind to go for 53 and end a promising fourth wicket stand on 84. Importantly, Allenby kept going, taking his side into the final session of the day and with his captain Mark Wallace, he kept the Kent attack at bay for 32 overs. Glamorgan were battling hard for their runs. Allenby was the key man and he reached a solid 50 off 78 balls and innings including five fours. He was frustrating Kent immensely. He also played some terrific shots, twice using his reach to put Treadwell into the stands. He was stopping Kent's victory push all right in what was mostly an anchor role. Not that you would believe that from these superb strokes. He'd worked really hard for three hours in making an excellent 86 when he gave it away, lobbing Brendan Nash out to Michael Powell. He could hardly believe what he'd done. That ended a fine stand of 87, but the next one added only seven more runs. Then James Harris was legged before to Shrek with a second new ball to give Kent renewed hope of enforcing the follow-on. Wallace and John Glover saw out the remaining four overs with Wallace going in still there on a patient but very important 46. His side had reached 264 for seven by the close, which means that they still require a further 43 runs to avoid that follow-on. If they do that, it will be tough for Kent to force a result on the last day.